know. He returned to speak to me. Good. I was worried Constantine might get the upper hand. Of the two of you, you are a more reasonable man. You set me up to kill him. Why? Constantine is impulsive. While Halbeck and I do not see eye to eye, I am afraid Constantine is much more open to beings than me. If you're not working with Halbeck... I did. In their boardroom negotiations offended me. Michael, Halbeck approached me many years ago concerning weapons trafficking. The relationship over time proved profitable to both of us. Until recently. I deal with intermediaries, but they share Halbeck's arrogance and unwillingness to negotiate in a changing market. Short-term profit in exchange for burning your bridges with Halbeck? Are you sure you're a businessman? Yes, a territorial. Halbeck and I don't agree on certain globalization practices. In the long term, our goals with regards to weapon distribution was an inequity. Mr. Thorpe, we're talking now because I see an opportunity here for both of us to take down a common enemy. Interested? I will only make this offer once. What do you want in exchange? Immunity? No, I simply want Halbeck out of my country which will ensure greater profits for me in the long run. So we get rid of a greater evil in exchange for a lesser. Welcome to the world, Mr. Thornton. But believe me, I seek to strengthen my country, and Halbeck seeks to weaken it. All right, Sirkov, we'll be partners for this. But once Halbeck has answered for its crimes, then... Agent Thornton, you are a man who seeks to do what is right. I expect no more and no less. I will arrange for the records to be transferred to you. If additional developments occur, I shall notify you. Understood. We'll be in touch. Situated. Nice place. I kind of hope this operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and Al Samad in Rome, but it does list the local Al Samad cell leader, a Jibril Al Bara. But you could say that a government-sized one. Well, let's just take it one step at a time then. What's the problem? There's a CIA listening post here in Rome. And it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And Al Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar. But that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. I could try to talk to them. Explain what happened in Saudi Arabia. I don't think that'll work, Mike. They have orders to detain you, and if you resist, you are on their most wanted list. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right, so what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one, at least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. That's the same organization that Z works for. 
Oh, Joy. She may know something that could help us. Unless you need advice on implants, I wouldn't bother. Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him. And some of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike, what's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the Al Samad connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara. I think there's enough coke residue on this knife to get very, very high. I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean, static? All right. Check downstairs. Probably blew another fuse. What am I, the fucking electrician? Need a flashlight. Camera. It's being run by a dummy console on the second floor. If you can find it, you can loop the feed and sneak past. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. Thank you. 
Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but... This ought to do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell? Lost him. 